told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay I tried, I tried, I tried my best, okay? I tried my best to come here looking as good as possible because um, it has been crazy. I'm not even going to like motherhood, being a new mom. Oh my god, basically, right now, eh, I'm just a walking zombie. I am a walking zombie because all night we do video all night, and then during the day we try to catch as much sleep as possible. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I am a new mom. I recently had a baby, and I want to just talk about my experience. Um, this is my third child, and I've I've had three cesarean sections and this is actually my third cesarean section and I want to just talk about my whole cesarean section experience, what happened, the days leading to the day I gave birth and all that. I want to just just basically. So yeah, this is me talking to you, just to you about how I gave birth. Shout before the official blog, before the official birth vlog because I've not had the energy. You see energy to bring clips and I did and I don't have that energy right now. So before then, we are going to just, okay, sit back, relax, and hear me out. <laughs> Alright, so, um, the days leading to the day I gave birth, they were actually like very wonderful days. My brother-in-law and his wife, they were around, and we haven't seen them in a while, so it was like a very happy moment for us. Um, two days before then, like back to back, we were just like hanging out, having fun, you know, we had like a get together with our friends, so, you know, just having a good time. Um, the night before I actually had my baby, it was like a party in my house. Not really like a party, like a little get together. Of course, my brother in law was there as well. My sister in law was there. Like, like it was just friends and family, and we're just having a good time. And it was really into the night because me, I didn't even want anybody to go. I wanted everybody to just be around. I was so anxious. I was having serious anxiety the night before. I didn't even know why I was scared. I think I was just scared about things that probably may not even have happened. I was scared about the spinal, I was scared about, you know, like, why will I still be able to feel my legs afterwards? I was scared about the baby, like, I hope the baby is going to be fine. I hope the baby is going to, like, be healthy and everything. I was just scared about everything, like, so many things going on in my mind. And so, like, it was just us hanging out throughout the night. And I barely even had sleep. I barely slept that night. I think I just slept for, like, one or two hours that, that night. And then the next morning, of course, we headed um, off to the hospital to have the baby. See, eh, if you're about to have a cesarean section, make sure, make sure that you have very nice doctors. When I mean nice doctors, I mean doctors that will actually listen to you. So I had like two doctors that were supposed to like anchor the whole thing. Of course, when you're having a cesarean session, you're definitely going to have two doctors. One doctor is the actual surgeon, and then the other doctor is the anesthesiologist. And my doctors were both awesome. I need to just say this. So the morning of the surgery, the morning I had my baby, they were already in the hospital. I was supposed to actually sleep over in the hospital the night before, but somehow I didn't, because I was so anxious, I just didn't want to be in that hospital environment and get. So I slept at home. We were even doing party in my house. <laughs> But the next morning, like the plan was for me to come in like for the surgery to start really early so that they will finish on time and you know go about their business. The next morning we're supposed to be in the hospital like around six thirty, seven. As at seven o'clock I was just leaving my house. Lo and behold, when I go to the hospital, these doctors were already there waiting for me. Like I felt so bad. I felt so bad. But then again, that's why I said have nice doctors in your corner. So this, so they were in like, they were just like, I was apologizing anyways, but they were like, it's okay, it's fine, so let's get this over and done with. And my God, I was scared. I was scared. So if you're about to have a cesarean section, or even about to have like a normal a vaginal delivery, and you're really, really anxious, I think anxiety is one of the things you definitely deal with when you're about to have a baby. For me, I was anxious for so many things, like I mentioned, I don't know, I guess it's normal. So yeah, um, got to the hospital, the theater was ready, I was literally shaking, I was shaking like I was shaking, when I mean shaking my body, right go. <laughs> so yeah, they prepped me, I got um, to the theater, laid down, of course they will prep you, 
the way shade view the way you know like i said in one of my videos like there are some things that when you're about to give birth just just forget it okay forget your sense of dignity or whatever just <laughs> lay down and tell them to do with you whatever they please because that's what's going to happen you just lay down there put your legs so they gave me a catheter they put in a catheter and then they shaped me and then yeah she just prepped me for the surgery proper and then the anesthesiologist came in anesthesiologist is the person that's going to give you your anesthesia so whether you're doing a general anesthesia or you are doing a spinal or an epidural anesthesiologist the doctor for that so this is my first time actually getting a spinal my two cesarean section my two previous cesarean sections were both GAs that's general anesthesia so basically they give you this drug you sleep off you're not aware of what is happening but with this one I did not want to sleep I wanted to be awake and yeah so they were to give me a spinal and so this doctor comes in he's asking me for my medical history if I've had this before my age just share things that you know and I provided the answers and everything and of course they said the whole process there were a lot of fluid they gave me a lot of fluid I feel like you know the IV the drip normal saline which is like water and salt or something they gave me a lot of that and of course while they were doing that they were explaining to me the reason why they were doing that is basically for your blood pressure because the whole process of the anesthesia the spinal may drop your blood pressure so they need to like up your blood pressure by giving you a lot of fluid and so i was on a lot of iv and it was just a very very beautiful experience for me actually because the doctor was talking me through what was going on he told me that okay at this point we're about to give you your the, the main the main the main injection which is the spinal he explained to me that i was going to feel the tingling on my legs and then i'll stop feeling my legs and that was exactly what happened and yeah i was numb and the process started the process actually the process of actually bringing out the baby is something that like this like before you can say jack rabbits in the baby is out so for me i was still saying please i'm so scared please boo -boo. like i was so scared of feeling the pain i was like what if this thing doesn't work and they caught me and i feel it and everything so i was like please please i'm so scared of this or that one i guess i was dramatic i don't know if i was dramatic or if it's normal i don't know but i was really expressing myself whatever i was feeling i was expressing myself so i was still saying please 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 i'm i'm scared this or that one you people should take it easy this or that one next thing i heard my baby's cry like it was this fast so bringing out the baby is like this fast like within three minutes into the whole procedure your baby is out and that was when I calmed down. Immediately I heard my baby cry. I was down calm. I was like, okay. And it, nothing can happen to me again. Like, my baby is out. Baby is fine. Everything is fine. So at this moment, nothing can happen again. So once baby came out, I became really, really calm. And they said the process of stitching me up. And yeah, along the line, Sha, I don't know whether it was in my head or something, but I was feeling like a tightening in my chest. I was feeling like I couldn't breathe anymore. And they um, actually brought in oxygen. Even the doctor was like, nothing much is wrong with you, Sha, but let's Sha just give you oxygen just to calm you down. So they hooked you up on oxygen. They actually, they're also going to hook you up on like a monitor to monitor your blood pressure, your heart rate, all those things. I was hooked up to that machine as well. So yeah. The process of stitching you up is actually the longest time. So bringing out your baby is like three minutes into the procedure or even less. But stitching you up is like 30 minutes or maybe less or maybe more. But the whole procedure did not last up to 40 minutes to be honest. Like it was really really fast. And before I knew it I was out of the theater. And when you're out of the theater you're still heavily sedated. Not heavily sedated but you're still like the epidural, the spinal is still working. So it's like the first few hours you don't feel a thing. I was just lying down there hoping that my legs will come back because I was like ah I can look up and become this thing you know, because my legs should better start working. Well yeah as God to have it nothing happened. My legs came back. So I started feeling my legs. I started feeling my legs like after about one hour 30 minutes after the surgery and damn <laughs> And then the pain. Oh my name. Oh my name. The pain. The pain. Okay. So what happened is that I started feeling my legs first. The pain didn't hit me immediately. I was still like, okay, I'm feeling my legs right now. 
the pain was just coming small, small, you know, being pressed up, coming, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. It wasn't until, but I, had, I had my baby in the morning. It wasn't up until like afternoon ish. That was when I started, like, the pain was not like dear, coming like back to back to back. <laughs> At this point, I was just like, what is happening? What is happening? But the thing with cesarean section is that already, and if it's like a planned cesarean section, and if it's something you have done before, already you know that pain is going to be there. You're going to expect pain, and you want to discuss your pain management with your doctors and everything. And so they first gave me a painkiller, which kind of just helped me. It just, it just helped me a bit. So for the whole of that day, I was just lying down. And again, after your spinal, your advice not to lift your head up like sit up immediately i think for like eight hours even i think i was told eight hours or i just chose not to like move for eight hours so i was lying down on my back for the whole of the day the whole of that day that i had my baby it was up until like in the night midnight that was when i now said okay you know what let me try and sit up a bit so i sat up a bit my mom in law like helped to clean me up and everything just to make me feel like i had a bath and that was it i wouldn't say the pain of the pain on that day was was so so much it was until the next day the next day <laughs> there is this pain that you will feel you are just dumbfounded i was dumbfounded that day like the next day i was just staring i was staring my father-in-law actually came to see me the next day and he was like what is wrong with you i said daddy <laughs> daddy pain <laughs> It was so crazy. I'm not even going to lie. I was speechless. You know this kind of pain that will put you gone, it could you on. And that was the second day. So for me, from my own experience, I would say the pain was much on the second day. And so when he came and asked me that, I was like, the one that had been giving me, the painkiller, it's not, it's not going anywhere. It's not doing anything. And so they stepped it up and they gave me another, like a stronger painkiller, which kind of just made me high. Well, yeah but Binkler helped me so you want to discuss all forms of pain management the painkillers that you're supposed to take and all that don't close your mouth don't say it will let me be there is there is no award for those that bore the highest pain <laughs> even if there's a word said they should not give us me as i'm feeling pain, i'm already crying i'm already shouting sometimes yeah i'll just be like okay let me just try so that i won't be like heavily drugged or something but I will just be it as much as I can and then I'll request for painkiller almost immediately. So yeah, generally cesarean section is painful, vaginal delivery is also painful. So whichever one you're going for, bear in mind that you're going to experience pain, but also bear in mind that there are also like pain management and get ready for that as well. So that's that for the day I gave birth and the second day. By the third day, I knew, in fact, from the second day, I knew that lying down on this bed is not going to help me matter. So I started walking towards, you know, let me stand up. So on the second day, by like evening of the second day, I did my best and I lifted myself and I stood up. But I was still like in a lot of pain. So I just was able to just stand a bit and just like move around, like around my bed. And that was it. By Monday, I said, you know what? I want to prove to these doctors that I am fit to go home. I want to go home. I wanted to just go home. I wanted to just be at home and recover. It depends on like your hospital and stuff like that. For me, I really knew that lying down after a surgery, especially a cesarean section, is not going to help your case. So I already knew what to expect. I already knew that walking around would help you. And so by the next, the third day, right? By the third day, I was determined that I was going to walk. Before the doctors came for one round, I had my bath, like cleaned myself up and wore like a nice t-shirt and I was ready, I was ready to prove to them that this girl is good to go. I wanted to walk and show them that I could walk around and that I did to the glory of God and I was certified fit to go home. So by the third day, I was on my way home, I was discharged and I went home. So coming home now, my mom, if you have been following me, my mom is not around she had a surgery herself and she has not been around for some time now so with a cesarean section of course you have to take things easy i didn't go back to my my own house i had to go to my mom-in-law's house which was very convenient for me um 
my house is close by as well but at this time my sister-in-law was around my brother-in-law and his family were around like i had family in the family house like i had people in the family house so why go home even so i decided to move into my mother-in-law's my parents-in-law's house and that was where i could i went home to and they were just awesome like they were really really awesome my sister-in-law would sleep with me like on the same bed and she would help me out in the night sometimes if i wake up i'll just hear baby cry from a distance and by the time i'll finish turning myself to get up she's already taking care of baby and i'll just sleep back she was really really awesome see that is one thing you have to bear in mind when you are when you know you're going to have a cesarean section or even if you don't know like if it's like an emergency cesarean section try as much as possible to have as much help as possible and don't hesitate to ask for the help don't go do a strong woman like you want to prove that your strength is no if they come and say i want to help you allow them to help you allow the help my sister-in-law was here to help me my, my mom-in-law was also but everybody like everybody they were all there to help me my sister as well was around she came as well my dad was just coming in and going you know he would come and check on me and then he would go my sister was also coming as well everybody my family members they were all just awesome like i cannot thank them enough i cannot like appreciate them enough honestly like because I've never experienced a vagina delivery, so I can't say about that. But the first two, three weeks after a cesarean section are like very, very hard. When I mean very, very hard, they are, you're going to experience a lot of pain. And so it takes people around you to understand that this person is actually going through so much pain. And it takes people that care about you to actually like step in and take care of things for you. And my family did that so i'm also saying that in this video if any of you is watching thank you so much i cannot say thank you enough thank you i don't even know what i would have done if it was just me i probably would just stay back in the hospital i'll just say you know what <laughs> i will pay the extra bill let me just stay here so that the nurses can take care of me or something like that but i guess that's also why i decided to go home on time as well but yeah they were all around me and they were really really awesome and I cannot thank God enough for that. I'm so grateful for that. So, yes, that's what happens after a cesarean section. You experience a whole lot of pain. And that is also when you realize that your, is it your core muscles now? Your stomach muscles are very, very important. You use them more than, we use the, the muscle in this center more than we even think to laugh you need those muscles to cry you need those muscles to to fart you need those muscles for everything you want to do to move around you need your core and it's when you have surgery that has to do with that area that you actually realize how important that area is i was literally avoiding my phone like i didn't want to go to any form of social media this period because i didn't want to say anything that would make me laugh that was just the truth i was avoiding instagram in fact social media basically i just didn't want anything because to laugh there are some things that you'll see you are so they're so funny you want to laugh but you know you cannot laugh to cry I couldn't cry like there was some there were some times that I was just going through a lot of emotions and everything and I just felt like crying. I'll just lie down like this and tears just to come out. I'll hold myself. You can never you see this area. It's when you have a surgery that you understand that this area, your, your midsection, is so so important. Of course, to lift yourself, you need that area. To move around on the bed, to tilt to one side and the other side, you need that area. But at the end of the day, the good thing about the good news about this whole thing is that maximum two weeks, you are you are okay with like the major form of pain is over and done with by two weeks, and you can just be feeling like minimal pain afterwards. Well, I would also say for some people as well, it might not even be as much as two weeks. I know my previous cesarean sections, my first one especially my daughter's zone because i remember has very well hers was an elective cesarean section and i was so calm and for me her recovery was like Mwah. because within a week i kid you not within a week i was like very not very okay but i was not in so much pain anymore i don't know why this time around it took me like two weeks for me to like fully stop feeling so much pain and be able to like do things on my own but I guess every situation is different, every birth is different, and of course there are other factors, age, um, the fact that I've done two previous cesarean sections and everything, I don't know. But yeah, 
but whatever the case is maximum within two weeks you are be rest assured that all these things I'm talking about the pain everything will be over what else are you going to experience I'm trying to think yeah the bleeding you're also going to bleed some people feel like I've had somebody in the past you know ask me like if you still bleed after a cesarean section yes you're still going to bleed after a cesarean section probably not as much as somebody that had a vaginal birth but you're still going to bleed um, which I really wish you don't have to go through that because you're already dealing with you know something like the plaster and the, the area of incision you're already dealing with that you know down there and then you still have to like wear your pads and wear your your pants and everything I really wish like for those that went through a serious section, I really wish we don't have to go through that but you still have to go through that and it can last as long as two to three weeks or even more but basically two weeks I, I, is ideal uh, it might extend into the third week but by the third week it should be reducing okay what else did I miss or am I missing so I think that's that about the whole experience of a cesarean section you want to also take things easy don't lift heavy things lift things that are as almost the same weight with your baby don't lift anything that is heavier than your child don't even lift anything just carry your baby and just stay because you are no, you don't need to lift anything don't lift anything even the one that is less than your baby don't lift it have somebody to help you lift it if you have people around you so yeah that's my experience about cesarean section that's my birth story generally i would say it was really really good it was really really peaceful family members were there my my family was there like everybody was just there like it was beautiful and i just thank god that i had my baby at that time where I had as much family as possible around me and I thank God for every single thing. So that's my birth story. That's how I brought my baby into the world and I just, I'm just happy. I'm still on my road to recovery. I'm not like 100% but I'm definitely much much better than I was before now. Um, of course with time, it took you 9 months to make this baby so it's probably going to take you like about 9 months for you to like get everything together or maybe less than that but don't rush it okay don't rush it you're going to be fine you're going to be healed your stomach is going to come down like i know i know some people will be like after this during section maybe your stomach will not be big it's not true i don't think that thing is a myth it's not true like there's nothing like if you had if you had a cs then you're going to be stuck with a big tummy it's not true your uterus is still going to go back the same way somebody that had a vaginal delivery um, the same way the person's stomach or uterus is going to go back that's how your own is also going to go inside and then probably when you're done with breastfeeding you can now start like a weight loss plan and then when you're on a weight loss journey you lose weight everywhere including your stomach so don't worry about that you're going to be fine you're going to bounce back you're going to start slaying and all that me too me, i can't even wait god knows i cannot wait but at this time i'm not thinking about that because crazy things are happening i don't sleep anymore i don't sleep anymore like it's so crazy i was just i was really thinking that my children started like my other children started waking up at night from like two months or so i'm not sure probably i've forgotten but with this one <laughs> it was only that week one that baby was just sleeping all through like sleep all through. and we're like oh the baby is a very good baby sleeping all day sleeping well, by week two, <laughs> the true colors started coming out. We have been doing vigil back to back to back. <laughs> back to back to back. We feed every hour in the night. Like, I, I'm not joking. Where every one hour, this baby is up and needs to be fed. Like, sometimes I'm just like, what have I gotten myself into? But at the end of the day, it's part of the whole experience. It's a beautiful experience. So that is my birth story. I've not been able to sit down and like get clips of my birth and you know the actual vlog, you know, to edit it and everything. So I decided to just come in here and like do a little preamble, a little gist about everything um, before I get I get the energy to edit my birth vlog and share it and stuff like that. So yeah, that's it. If you're about to have a cesarean section, don't be scared. Don't worry about that. Everything is going to be fine. If you're about to have a vagina delivery as well, don't be scared. Everything is going to be fine. God is going to see you through. You're going to give birth to that beautiful baby. And none of them is easy at the end of the day. Any which one you choose, choose it, chest out, and carry the pain. Okay? <laughs> and 
carry the pain. <laughs> Anyways, that's my video for you people today. Um, if I missed anything, I'll let you know in the comment section. I just got a little break. Baby is sleeping. I just got a little break and I said, okay, let me come and share my birth story. Let me come and talk about it. And yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I'm going to see you in my next video. If this video was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And let us chat in the comment section. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.